The amount of DNA in a typical chromosome, say a typical human chromosome, uh, the DNA is 10,000 times as long as the chromosome itself, so it's highly packaged. So the idea is to figure out uh, how the DNA is arranged in these, in these little particles. The DNA is present there as chromosomes during, a, during the whole lifetime of the cell. But it's only during this stage of mitosis that we say the DNA and the chromosomes condense into particles that you can see in the light microscope. And it is uh, those that we, you know, we'd like to know how the DNA is arranged and, and what, what keeps it in, in that arrangement. This, uh, this new work that's going to be published in Science is something that um, kind of uh, initiated with a friend of mine named Bill Earnshaw. He's a professor at the University of Edinburgh in, in Scotland. So this project had two main aspects to it. One was uh, getting the cells to come into mitosis and do that um, uh, chromosome condensation, as we call it, do that all at the same time. Uh, and then, uh, so take samples at different times and analyze those chromosomes and see what you could figure out about their structure. There's a particular enzyme that triggers cells to go into mitosis, it's called CDK1, and they uh, constructed, they did genetic manipulation to make a, a CDK1 that was specifically inhibited by a particular chemical compound. Lin Feng Shea and I here at UW Oshkosh, uh, we synthesized that compound that they needed. The materials were sent to the laboratory of a man named Job Decker in, uh, at the University of Massachusetts. And he was, uh, uh, he had a method to analyze how, how the DNA sequences are arranged uh, and uh, came out with some very interesting results.